So recently, there was a video that garnered a lot of controversy because it showed a bunch of little girls dressed in princess outfits, swearing their asses off, and saying, Oh, wow, look how oppressed girls are, but we're strong and powerful, and we don't need no stinking patriarchy. Yeah, another one of those, right? But it's made even worse by the fact that they use the little girls. And they use them to further their own political goals. And that, to me, is absolutely disgusting. Let's take a look at what these girls had to say, shall we? Pretty. <gasps> pretty. Pretty. What the fuck? I'm not some pretty fucking helpless princess in distress. I'm pretty fucking powerful and ready for success. Is that so? Well, then, I have to ask, why do feminists consistently perpetuate the idea that women are always victims? That women are oppressed by the patriarchy? Yet, apparently, women are strong and independent, right? They don't need a man's help, right? Oh, except for when the fact that the evil patriarchy is oppressing them, then they need white knights to join their cause. Right. Consistency does not seem to be a feminist strong suit. Hey, inequality! Women are paid 23% less than men for the exact same fucking work. So, another wage gap claim, right? Um, how many times have you guys heard this already? But men and women don't work equally. Men generally work more than women do. They work harder jobs, they work longer, they tend to commit more to the job than women do. And they work different jobs. Jobs that tend to pay a little bit more. But even if I ignored all of the empirical evidence before me, just from an economics point of view, if it really was the case that men were paid a dollar to a woman's 77 cents, why don't all businesses just hire women? I mean, you're doing the same work for 30 cents less. So that seems like a pretty good deal to me, but I, I suppose that businesses just are in this to oppress women, and, and they aren't in this to make a profit or anything. And women who graduate university with straight A's get paid as much as men who only got C's, so bad grades equal more bank just because you're a boy? And where's the evidence that suggests that women don't get power that they don't deserve? Like... You're going to say that a lot of the country is run by these students, and you know, to a certain extent that's kind of true. Some positions of power are really only given based on patronage rather than merit. But that applies for both genders. It is not a gender-exclusive issue, and the more you try to paint it as such, the less credible you sound. Rape and violent fucked up facts. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or raped by a man. So the one in five statistic is a very popular claim by feminists. And the sad thing is that no one seems to want to call them out on their bullshit. Because this is a result of two studies that have been done. Um, and both of these studies were self-reported, which already has a measure of bias to begin with. but. Self-reported surveys with a non-representative sample and an extremely low response rate. And it only gets downhill from there. Here's a hot tip. Stop telling girls how to dress and start teaching boys not to fucking rape. Welcome to feminist logic, people, where bigotry is only acceptable if you're a woman and you have a vagina and if it's against men, because who gives a shit about men? So. Not all men are rapists. I'm sure everyone knows that. And yet feminists love nothing more than to paint all men under the same generalization that we are all ticking time bombs, rapists before proven innocent, people who should be socialized not to rape others. Unbelievable. This is the exact same type of logic that has been used to justify bigotry such as racial profiling in the past. 
be pretty. So here's the tricky thing. Pretty, it's a compliment. But here's how this focus works to girls' detriment. Society teaching girls that our bodies, boobs, and butts are more important than our brains leads us to thinking our worth comes from our waistline. Everyone judges based on looks. Everyone treats attractive people much better than non-attractive people. This isn't something that's exclusive to girls. It's something that is present in society. It is inherent in our biology. And we absolutely should look beyond appearances because they can be deceiving. But to paint this as a gendered issue, that only girls suffer from this, is just wrong. It is ignoring an entire facet of the problem. How do you propose we fix this issue if you don't address the fact that men and boys have to deal with it just as much as women do? My aspirations in life should not be worrying about the shape of my ass. So fuck focusing on how I look and give me a book. If you don't want your aspirations being controlled by the way you think you should look, then stop caring about the way you look and focus on what you want to do in life. That's what I did. Worked wonders for me. To say that people should stop judging you is completely insane. We all judge each other because that is inherent in human nature. What we should do is learn to look past that and have the inner strength and conviction to stand by who we are and not how we look. Sometimes people are gonna kiss your ass and sometimes they're gonna kick it. And the sooner you realize that this is a human issue and not a female issue, the sooner you can move on with your life and stop complaining about it like a bunch of spoiled whiny brats. Oh, bro, when you tell a boy it's bad to act like a girl, it's because you think it's bad to be a girl. Fuck that sexist shit! Men don't like to be called girls for the same reason we don't like to be called fags. It's because we don't like to be identified as something we're not. It's not that most of us are raging homophobes or misogynists. We don't like to be called a girl because we're men. And for straight guys, we don't like to be called fags because we're not gay. And this, of course, highlights some of the main fundamental reasons why I can't take feminism seriously. I can't take them seriously because they continue to misrepresent statistics and data in order to further their political agenda. I can't take them seriously because they maintain a confrontational, bigoted, and whiny attitude as epitomized by these poor young ladies right here. And I especially can't take them seriously because of the way they demonize men and male values. This is what a feminist looks like. Do you want to see what a feminist looks like? This, my friends, this is what a feminist looks like. May the truth always be heard. Peace.